play one of Marty Hurley's cadences that I've been playing lately uh, and adding bass drum to. It's kind of but it's the most popular of all his cadences. Number nine is really. It's like this Phantom Regiment street beat of the 70s and 80s. Wow, okay. It identifies with that drum chord. Wow, all right. Yeah, and it's a, it's a fun cadence, and it's a little challenging, too, because it shifts from triplets to 16th notes, and... People say, how much should you practice, you know? And one, one saying I say, practice till, you know, not till you get it right, till you can't get it wrong. Yeah. And one of the hardest things, challenging things about this one, that we're saying, is the space. Especially when you have 10 snare drummers doing it. Yeah, it's hard to move from those triplets into the 16th notes without wanting to rush. And then with this one, what I've done is, I took the Steve Gadd concept of adding bass drum, and I shed it, and I added bass drum to this one. So we're going to play it once without cool. bass drum. And with a hi-hat. And, and I'm going to add bass drum, and then bass drum hi-hat. And then, and then you know what? Let's do it a third time. All right. Where I'm going to shift over to the 26 and this. And I'm jealous. I need another instrument. Ah! <laughs> so we're going to do it three times. And one drum. We're going to do it three times. You right. ready? Yeah. Oh, you count it. One, two, one, two.